monkey playing the piano. I don't know how to play the piano. make us another piece so that we can start this new journey so where will you check us this time so guys as you can see uh, this train climbs the mountain now uh, and goes to like 700 meters oh Tagliacozzo again why did you went again at Tagliacozzo Tagliacozzo in Italian means cut dick you know the word taglia means to cut and the word Kotsu is very similar, you just switch an O for an A it, and it means dick. So, you know, people today just cut in dicks left and right, you know, to change their sex and everything. You know, who would have thought that this, this town, you know, would have just a perfect name, you know? So, so of the moment, you know? Cut in dicks. Okay, but now let's talk about the sexy sheep all waiting for the train. They have also programmed her, you know, to go with people with money, you know. Uh, before, uh, people used to uh, choose their partners for honor, for being a decent human being, you know. Maybe someone called me. Being uh, honest. But not now. Not now, because uh, today, since the, the monsters wants to use this woman, by paying them and they are not honest people they are filthy they have programmed them to see filth as being something good and honesty and uh, decency as being something stupid okay and the sheep on folds for it because they program them with television hip-hop music uh, new movies everything look how well the sheep is programmed marijuana and here it says smoke weed every day Okay? It's the duty of the slave today to be dumb. And the S with the dollar sign, you know? Very well. You know, they say that this lift doesn't work, you know? But hey, they lie to us all the time. It works perfectly. And the sheep will won't use it, you know? just because it says here, you cannot do this, they will not do it. Here we have another beautiful woman, yeah? Programmed to be sexy and destroy her body. I didn't want to talk about symbolism and uh, all this stuff here in Tagliacozzo, but this town is so Masonic uh, that I cannot ignore it, you know? <laughs> as we can see also here, as above, so below. So let's let's look at Tagliacozzo. So as we can see, you know, the slaves finished uh, paving, making Tagliacozzo great again. And so now we can see the statue, which is the usual mason, you know? This is uh, Dante, Dante Alighieri, the divine comedy, you know? Yes, here's another Mason, guys. The president of Italy. Welcome, president. Yeah, 6 July, this Mason came here. Look at this monster. The name of this square, Largo Unità d'Italia. This uh, Mason, you know, Mazzini and all this uh, Garibaldi, all these people, you know, they united Italy, you know, because they wanted enough slaves so that they can use them, you know. You need a country, so to speak. And so, they united Italy, even though Italy was divided in many small states, yeah? And everywhere you can see, you know, scaring people and telling people this is like, like a, a bullet, you know? And they put it everywhere with the monument, you know, uh, celebrating freedom, you know? In Latin, so that it sounds uh, official, you know? You know? It's, this is just program, just to tell the ship, ship. You are not a slave. 
you work for us of course I am the boss and I tell you what to do but hey shit you are free you have been liberated from the second world war okay that's what this bullet means this is programming guys just like they did in communism in communism they would program people in the streets with all kinds of propaganda today happens the same thing the sheeple are living in Italy cannot find job anymore and they program them to think they are free the president comes in here and celebrates a mason you know? here, here's the Nazi you know finding poor people you know taking money just because he parked in a wrong way you know here's their lovely octagon so hey let's fill our water at the octagon you know it should have just a little bit of uh, fluoride you know? and what about a good uh, you know Masonic obelisk in the middle of the square just like this why not that square that we just saw is the third of the most beautiful squares in Italy you know what a great honor so talking about dicks guys in Italia Cozza the square of the obelisk we can see the obelisk again guys which we know very well it is a Masonic representing the phallic you know I'm sick even of talking about the, their BS you know and this one represents world domination we control all the all the world they put it everywhere here, this church here let me see this one they put it everywhere here's the sun again both sides here's also the coat of arm with their masonic uh, compass here's rex look at this shit the usual lion here look how holy they are look look at that this psychopath homos talia cazzo that's why they cut dicks because they are homos. Being a homo is like being against God, you know? And these people, as we can see, again, the compass here, are against the rules. Okay, so that's why I say they are all homos. Being a homo is like, you know, I don't like the way nature works, I do it my way. So that's why these guys here, where is it? Look like homos. And they push homosexuality everywhere. Uh oh. Very scary dude. IHS, the Jesuit guys. Very nice people. Before they used, uh, they ruled us through kings, you know? And we had to obey and, and or, or else, you know, or you would die. Then they thought about, you know, why don't invent this concept of republic? Italian Republic, ER. The family tree of all the thugs, you know, that have ruled us, you know? Look at that, everywhere. Lots of thugs, you know. You should have, you know, you must, have, you must have the right blood, you know. Look at these creeps. Oh man. Look at these monsters that are still ruling today. They have the right blood, okay? And they are holy. Shame on you, monsters. What about a, a double-headed double eagle? Not Masonic at all. And here, of course, we can see the poor slaves coming from uh, poor countries working to keep this building great again. So this is the Templar's Cross and this is the star backwards. Oh, the new trolls! Look at these monsters, guys. All the satanic shit here. Look at these bozos. <laughs> here we can see some slave walking on the roof of, the, of this house, you know. There are all kinds of ways to build a home, for example, a house. But they have this regulation. So, that, for example, you cannot build your home for yourself because they would say it's not safe. If they put uh, people like this with all toxic material and everything, that, that is safe. So the next town is uh, Rocca Cerro, and then we will sleep, I will sleep to this town. Marcel, no, it's Marcia. Yeah. And here are the Jesuit guys that will protect me through the night. So from now on, no more cutting dicks. This is us, guys. Domesticated animals into their pyramid. And with the cave camp trails behind. And this is them. The snake.
this tree was very generous with me all free look at that so i just found this spring water here which is coming out of the mountain here so maybe this is the cleanest water i have ever drank in my life because i am at the top of this mountain you know everything is downhill there except for those mountains so th this water is coming just from from the earth you know it's not polluted with it's not that it's rain water for example because i'm at the top so it's just coming from the earth and it's the cleanest water possible and it has all kinds of minerals that these monsters clean from our waters and and also they dump all kinds of uh, chemicals chlorine uh, fluoride can you see the, the water flowing there so now i will drink again It has a, a particular taste, you know, because it's full of minerals, you know. So I will be electric in these two days. Huge mountains here, we can see, almost 2,000, even more, I think, meters. And I have, I'm going to this little town here, uh, hard climb, really. And then after that, I will go to Marcia, which is behind these mountains. He told me that I'm going to meet these other two people there in the mountains, where we um, pray. You know, it looked cool to me, the idea, you know. We shared food with each other. I had some food that I took during the, the, during the walk, you know. And then... Uh, we just sat there in nature, they had this horse also and, they, and I asked him also if I could ride, not ride the horse because I can't but just uh, go in his back and he agreed and uh, so these guys were trying to open their chakras and wanted me to open their chakras with them after all, they were uh, good people, but they do not know uh, uh, why this religion is so uh, prevalent here in the West today. They used uh, 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 the word Father, uh, or as in this case, Jesus. And so I, I, at, at the beginning, I couldn't understand if they were like some kind of Christians or... But then everything uh, became clear. They weren't Christian, of course. They were angry with me as soon as I started to talk about the elite, because People at the top know very well that, uh, th that with this religion, people would just think about themselves. Because they would say, you know, uh, just think about yourself. You have to solve issues just with you. Don't think about the world out there, you know. And so this is perfect for, for the elite. Because if you tell the, the slave, you know, think about yourself. You know, just, just be, meditate and uh, open your chakras and everything. And you, and you will change uh, everything around you. And I tried to make this example. I said, you know, there is the flower, but this flower cannot just think about herself because what is around the plant, you know, it's important, which is the system around the plant. If the system around you is uh, completely gone, you are in a, in a desert, the plant will not grow. Okay, I tried... And, but yet they will continue to tell me that you know uh, the plant is important, so the individual is is, uh, is important. This guy with the hat, you know, told me, ah, but this is uh, that kind of uh, uh, reptilian alien stuff, you know, that you are talking about. Just because I use the word elite, you know, or and masons or whatever, you know, just because of that, he told me uh, that uh, this is crazy stuff, and this tells you very well how the work of the agent uh, David Icke which pushes this kind of stuff, this kind of uh, spirituality, this consciousness, this stuff, you know uh, has worked perfectly has worked perfectly because now people associate the elite with something crazy, you know, to, you, uh, which is stupid to talk about, you know and they also say that God is me also very dangerous because this is what gives power, for example. For example, they told me, this is also important, that, you know, people, uh, uh, kids that die from cancer, for example, in their next life, 
they uh, have had done something, and so they are paying the consequences of that, you know, in this life. And uh, of course, I, I don't believe this. And this is why, for example, in India, there are these castes, you know, rich people and poor people, and they accept it without any problem. Because they would say, you know, think about this guy, this is powerful. They would say, this guy is rich because he deserves it, because he, in his other life he did something, and so he deserves in this life to be where he is. And you are poor, but it's unbelievable how many more poor there are than there are rich people. You know, how come all these people did wrong and so they deserve to... It's, it's a stupid idea, you know. And so, but this is powerful for the elite, that's why they push this uh, religion, this, this kind of religion, because you will accept everything that they, they will do to you. And just will think to it yourself and it will not touch them. Okay? And uh, also, uh, when we were uh, coming to, to this town, because it was impossible to, to, uh, to sleep in Marcia, because it, uh, there were no, no places there. Uh, to where, where to sleep. So I went. Uh, so we were returning to Rocca, uh, and this guy, uh, I asked him, like, can I ask you what do you think about the family? And he just stopped the car, and uh, and, I, and I, 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 I told him, why do you stop the car? What's what's up? No, I stopped the car because this is an important question. <laughs> And, and I want to answer it uh, very well. And so he started to think, you know, to, to say to me that in, uh, that basically, so if I make it short, basically he said he sees the family or having kids, for example, as being an impediment. Your family, uh, with all those rules and everything, is an impediment of your growth. So imagine that, guys. These people, uh, you know, who will make babies, guys? If you if you just want to think about yourself, this is this is the, the, the core of this religion. You know, think about yourself, and, and and this is why it's so popular and so loved by people in the West, which are selfish, have become selfish just in 30, 40 years, thanks to these religions who tell them, and the culture and everything, who tells them that you are special. Don't think about the family. This is depopulation, guys. Depopulation, but done in a smart way. You give them these uh, ideologies, which uh, focus only on the self, you know, the power of now, the power of, you know, think about, meditate, go inside yourself, and do not sacrifice, you know. And I told him, you know, my family sacrificed to, to make this human being. What human beings will be will will uh, will we have if we all just think about ourselves and did not uh, took the time to sacrifice and to to make the next generation? But it's impossible to. They do not understand this. He told me, you know, not every. This is not a religion for ev for anyone. Just uh, just some special <laughs> special people have the. The, the capability to go to, to, to this road and to grow, you know. And so, who will make the babies, guys? How, how will this baby, uh, uh, who will make it? The poor people will make it and you will adopt them and then just meditate and do whatever and you will think that that's a, uh, the, the right way to, to grow a baby? Or maybe you will use slaves because uh, it's an impediment to have a ch a ch a children because they cry, they want to... And, and he also told me that, you know, I will have to waste 20 years of my life to grow these uh, children. So this is not possible. So that's all, guys. That's all. This is what the elite have, have, has done with, uh, with us. And uh, the situation is very, very sad because they have the power to, uh, to kill us slowly without touching us anymore this is uh, they, they are very smart guys so this is the thing uh, but as I said you know the guy was a very uh, uh, you know he, he gave me this t-shirt and 
by the way, I had to give him an offer about this because he told me, yes, you can have it, but uh, uh, it costs like 4 euros to give this. And you know, I always am suspicious of people that ask me money for for something. But it, it, it wasn't a problem, I gave him 5 euros, you know, because he, you know, helped me with a uh, with ride and... Uh... Let, let's hear this. Yes. Padre, non mi importa il di tutto il resto, voglio te, solo te, e di quel resto mi considerai tu il necessario, Shiva. Father, it's not important about everything else, I just want you, only you. And uh, the rest, you will make it available to me, if necessary. Shiva, Shiva! What happened? All of a sudden someone knocked on the door of my hotel, of my room hotel, and uh, who was? It was the owner. He wanted to invite me for dinner, for free. And so I had to accept, you know? So in front of me I had, you know, wine, Coca-Cola, white bread, white spaghetti, ham also. It was just like they read my mind, you know, just what a vegan needs, you know, and cigarettes, if I wanted, of course. And the TV was behind me, you know, so just hell, you know, pure hell. And, and they were also talking about politics and everything. I tried just a little bit just to tell them, you know, it's, it's all BS, they play with you, you do not realize they are, they are the masons and everything. But it was impossible. They, uh, one of them knew about the masons, but uh, as soon as you, you tell them what you know, uh, they would just stare at you and they would just recontinue to talk about what they know. You know, I couldn't just laugh them like that because they were kind to me. They just offered me dinner and, and to sit with them and everything, and so I just hoped that uh, the the hour and the time would pass quickly. And this day would soon be over so that I could start a new day. Let's see with what this new and last day would bring us. This is huge. And he's scared of me. Unbelievable. They are everywhere, everywhere, and they are so good. There's an insect. This is me. 
almost so much. Understanding, sheeple. Okay, you could be free. You can eat everywhere, but it, yet you you prefer staying there and and just getting food from uh, from your master. I don't understand it. So this guy was telling me that uh, you know he has these dogs that was training for, uh, to catch the rabbits. This is how you train a dog. So you just give them pain, electricity, uh, just a shock of electricity in, in his neck, you know. And this is exactly what will happen with us. Because if you do something uh, that it's wrong, if you think th something that you should not, uh, what happens is that you will get some electrical shock. But uh, in our case, it will not be uh, in the neck, but it will be in the head. Because uh, with 5G or other technology, they will do this perfectly. Use your brain, sheeple! Otherwise, you, feel you end up like this. Look at this guy, this is water, perfect water, clean water that comes from the mountain to this uh, small uh, town. And the uh, mayor here says, you know, that uh, you should not use this for, for your garden, okay? If you dare, this water should go to waste, okay? Slowly they want to kill us guys. No more rainwater, no more water that just flows and go to the sewer. You should not use it for your garden. It's unbelievable. These are the thugs, guys. They're slowly killing us. These monsters. Here it is. Always the, the crown of the king. They think they are kings. They are psychopaths, guy. Psychopaths. Someone that thinks that, is a, that has no shame to, to, to have more than others is a psychopath. I am in a town called whatever, Carsoli. But uh, we can see um, obelisk everywhere here. Can you see the obelisk here? Okay, the ball of the world domination. You know, you think that there are no masons here in Italy? Yeah, think again. These monsters are everywhere. Look at this cycle, look. Here we can see some of the balls are painted uh, black and white, which is a uh, checkerboard, you know. So I asked, you know, this uh, villa is of one of the, of the thugs control in Italy, you know. Uh, you know, a guy which has control of all the highways, tall hallways, and uh, you know, the sheep do not know what the obelisk mean. Look at that. These are these are the sheep guys. They are sexy. They are having fun. You know, didn't know nothing. And the thing is, if they knew. We would not be free, guys. This so-called let me let me point to you. This freedom, you know, this freedom that they, you know, you are free as long as you are dumb, okay? As long as you are dumb, you get, you are free. But we show you our, our dick everywhere in your face, just because we are psychopaths and we like it this way. <laughs>